So really, guys, it is to talk about what happened today. So today we are going to talk about the new FPV drone from DJI. Now, as I was already said, I am recording this one live. I'll try to answer some questions before we finish it up as well. If you're watching this later on the channel, I was recording this one live um, and then I, I streamed it and now I've put it up on the channel as a normal video. So today is the day it's launched. I don't have one in hands. So if you have a problem with that, you probably don't want to watch the rest of this. I did know about this one some time ago, but I don't have it. Now, as we've all seen, the product has launched. We've not seen any images of this before at all, have we? We, we didn't know about this. Yeah, oh, luck. We've known about this for a long, long time. And we've got what we thought we were going to get, the DJI FPV drone, which allows you to fly sort of like FPV. It's not a Mavic and it's not a racing drone. It is an FPV drone. It's not designed for freestyle. It's not designed for racing. It's designed to give a flying experience for those who are used to Mavic style aircraft or maybe have never flown before unlike they have had before and that is how this product is being pitched if you are someone who is into fpv racing or freestyle already this product is probably not for you if you're someone who has flown fpv before it's probably not for you what this is is a step into the fpv world and that step in comes at a price because this product isn't cheap it's around 1300 dollars in the us or 1250 pounds i think i paid in the uk it has some expensive elements to it including the cost of the batteries over a hundred and fifty dollars but it will give you a unique flying experience that you've never had before from a drone especially if you've never flown one before and it will walk you through doing that and that is what dji do best what dji do best is providing a turn key solution to flying and that's what they've done here now the product has launched and yeah, look, I'm not going to go into too much depth on this. There are reviews everywhere on this product. If you've gone down the list, we have reviews from The Verge. Not sure who that gentleman is. You've got the DJI reviews. You've got Peter McCannon, which has got a lot of views, 103,000. You've got reviews from iJustine. You've got reviews from iPhoneDo, Potato Jet, all of the usual suspects. This, and I'm just going to go to a clean view for this. This was one of the reasons I didn't really want to do an out-the-box review on this on day one because I knew DJI were putting this in the hands of a lot of people and everyone is fighting over the same views. And this is the problem with it. And when you look at some of the views on these reviews, they're quite low for the size of the channels. Now, I'm going to recommend you look at two reviews if you're interested in this product. The first one is Joshua Bardwell's because I honestly think it's a good review. Hand on heart, I think JB's is a good one. Let me just find it. He's on the list, but just look how far down it is. Is he even... Where is it? Have I missed it? Let me just... Let's go back to the top. You know, I've searched for DJ FPV. You know, JB's... I is it's a good review he, he's i see nothing wrong with it but the only complaint i've got on jb's is he missed out talking about geofencing and i will mention that a little bit in a minute um and i know he's going to do a follow-up video as well you know you can't even see look, look how many reviews are on this product just just look there, there, there's so many you've got no hope as a small channel getting involved in this one but check out um justin bardwell's and Bruce RC model reviews. Those two will cover everything you need to know if you're interested in flying drones. You're a Mavic user. You're a, you're a thing. You're a, an existing drone user. Even if you're an FPV user, they'll tell you pretty much everything you need to know. Now, for me, I just want to today talk about my thoughts on this new product. And let me just jump back over to the live a minute, just so I can see what any of the comments are. Just make sure it is working. Um, Bruce prayers have been answered. Yes, Bruce has been involved. He's got his working now, which is good news. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to give you guys my thoughts on this new product. I think, personally, I think it's a really interesting product, especially for new people wanting to get into FPV. However, there are some upsides and downsides, and I'm going to say go watch JB's video, and then... um. Bruce's or Bruce's then JB's and, and more content from those guys. And my interesting thoughts on this product are this. The first thing that I spotted on this when the reviews went out is how many people have managed to break this reviewing it. I have to say, I don't see DJI being too happy with the number of the reviews where these guys have managed to damage it. And my take from this is that this product is 
brittle. I don't mean it's weak, and I don't mean it's um, not designed well. I just think the so tight integration that DJI is so good at, and that 20 minutes of flight time comes at the cost of how strong this product is in the event of an impact. There are some, frankly, horrendous crashes with the Curie Craft is just totaled. So if you are interested in buying this product, you need to understand it is not like this. It will not survive like this drone. If you catch a tree and you don't have DJI K refresh, you could be in real trouble. And that is something to take into account. Now, I'm not saying it's weak, but it is certainly there is a price to pay for all of that DJI integration. It's it's that simple. Now, if we look at it at the moment, DJI have said some parts are going to be available, but right now it is limited what those parts are. You know, if we go on the DJI store, the product itself is $1,299. You can buy additional batteries. You can buy propellers. You can buy FPV drone arm braces. A little bit worrying that they're selling them on day one. That sort of suggests... Um, something. I'm not going to say much more than that. You can buy the camera, you can buy the covers, and that is it. You really can't buy any of the parts. So you need to be careful. If you buy this product, do not just chuck it into acro mode. Even if you are an experienced FPV pilot, this thing weighs nearly 800 grams. It's not going to fly like this. It's not going to fly like any of your existing race quads or FPV quads that are a lot lighter. You need to take that into account before flying it. So, you know, it does look a little bit brittle. I don't, brittle is probably not the right word. Delicate is probably the right word to use. The next thing I was going to talk about, and that is battery cost. They have come in much more expensive than even I was anticipating. There was talk around $70, $80, $90. However, maybe I was in saying $120, $130. I've said that on my other live streams. Man, look, these batteries are $159. Just to put that in perspective, the TB50 for the Inspire 2 is not much more than that. I think it's $10 or $20 more. So they are hugely expensive hugely hugely expensive for the guys watching i will hop over to the comments in a minute just to catch up on that um so yeah battery cost is another big thing now something that hasn't been mentioned in a lot of videos and bruce mentioned it in his and i know he mentioned it because i watched bruce's video and some comments that were in other videos that haven't been mentioned is geofencing this product has all of DJI's usual geofencing from the look of it, which is Geo 2.0 with its restricted zones, its unlock zones, and you need to check if the area you're going to fly in is in one of these DJI zones. Now, you can do this by going to the DJI GeoZone map, and you can have a look on here. And you've got multiple different kinds of GeoZones. You've got recommended flight zones, regularly restricted zones, enhanced warning zones, warning zones, authorization zones, altitude zones, and restricted zones. So if you're flying somewhere which is an airport or your flight site is a is an airport as well you could have problems and i talked about this on sunday's live stream as well and we had a look at bruce's airport and that one was actually under an authorization zone as well so do take that into account you may need to have a smart device which has internet capability to be able to fly this at your normal flight location and that is something you need to be aware of now overall on the spec of the drone the main headline spec has been 4k 60 frames a second on the camera but you do need to remember that you do have the props in view on flight when it's in the wide mode but there is some little detail that has sort of been overlooked and jb has mentioned this has as one or two of the reviews but not everyone and that is you can only get that 4k 60 when in the normal mode if you move to the low latency wireless mode you're limited to 1080p 60 so do remember that there are limitations depending on what wireless mode you're using and that does affect the recording on the aircraft now something i would say with this is this with dji it's often a good idea to look at what isn't said and not what is because the devil in the detail is usually in the gaps the areas where things aren't mentioned is where you really need to dig in and that is the case with this now as we've seen it is an interesting product there's no question about this um this is one of the most anticipated products probably of the last 12 months 
I think it's interesting, and I think there's some stuff which I don't quite get my head around, and I'm going to be interested to see this for myself when it actually arrives. Props in view, to me, seems a silly, and I don't understand why DJI didn't design that out of the product. Um, they could have done that at, at point one. I, I don't quite get why they've decided to do that. And I know, depending on the field of view, you can get rid of them, but still, I think it's a bit of a mistake. I don't get the motion controller one little bit. I haven't ordered it, so I'm not going to comment on how good it is. I, I just think it's the wrong controller for this product. I just don't think it's the right idea for me, personally. I could be wrong. I haven't ordered it. I won't be testing that one. Um, but overall, I'm really interested to see how it behaves, and I'm looking forward to to actually getting it in now as i've said i have placed the order for this on the dji store and it should be here anytime in the next two days actually um hopefully it'll be here for the weekend and i can get it out now i'm not going to do a review on this product when it arrives i'm not going to do an unboxing i'm not going to do a review it's completely pointless with the amount of content that's already been made what i will do though is do a thoughts video having spent some time with it just to go out and about and i'll do some outdoor filming actually we'll get it out and see what i actually think about it compared to a mavic and compared to one of my other aircraft as well and then i'll start making some content around helpful and usable content as well now just before i end this bit of the video i just want to say if you guys want to support the channel and you are watching this don't forget to subscribe to check out those videos i am going to be releasing in the future also if you'd like to support us there is a link to this drone in the description it is an affiliate link bruce doesn't use affiliate links he hates them he thinks anyone using them he's not he doesn't think anyone using him he's not genuine i will tell you my thoughts if you want to support the channel you can use the links and they're in the description and that's all i'm going to say on that one now that is the end of this bit of the video i'm going to jump over to the live comments now and i'll probably cut this recording one off here so i'm jumping over to the comments hello guys sorry about that i just wanted to get it out there so let me just bring the comments up so i can see what's being said before i end this one and get on to gary's stream Hi there, hi Floor Flyer, how are you doing? Even from Wilshire, the Mojet, how are you doing, my friend? Evening, tell me what you think. Bruce had it, um, too expensive for me. It is expensive, there's no question about that. Look, it isn't horrendous when you talk about the overall package, you know, the goggles, the remote, and everything. However, it isn't cheap, and it doesn't make it good value when you can't use that FPV remote controller with ear units later. What's a frustration with this setup is whilst you can use the goggle with the FPV units, ear units, the goggles version 2, which comes with them, you can't use the remote. It would be really good if you could actually have then used the goggles and the remote and then moved into custom builds later without having to buy another remote controller. And I think DJI have made a mistake there, personally. I really do. Bruce has got his working now. Uh, they've lowered the view units by a factor of two or three. Um, no Casey Nasa. Um, no, interesting. A lot of people, though, they've put this in too many people's hands, in my opinion. Look, from a KOL point of view, you're asked to be involved in these things. And, and I always had the concern of being involved on something like this on day one can be impossible. Unless you're a big channel like Bruce and the others. I also had other concerns, which I won't go into. But yeah, at times it was, it, it, it it's impossible for many. And if you look at some of the review numbers on some of those channels, they're very low considering how big the channels are. Um, Shady, JB did a good review. JB's review, I, I absolutely, 100%. JB had it spot on as far as I'm concerned, as has Bruce so far. Um, Bruce is great. Brutally honest. JB only got JB only got 10 minutes. It is concerning how many people smash this up, including JB. You know, JB can fly. Let's not pretend the guy can't. He really can fly. Who makes the battery? Spectrum. Um, I have three. Let's have a look, Shady. You need the motion controller so that you can still hold a pint in the other hand. <laughs> Who else has ordered the V2 goggles? Well, I've ordered the FPV kit, guys. So I've ordered the whole kit. OK, a lot of money and I've ordered the extra batteries as well at an insane cost of 260 odd pounds. You know, look, my thoughts on this is it's a good product. I think it will sell extremely well. I don't think it's bad for the FPV hobby. I do, though, think DJI have some real problems when this hits the masses. And I honestly don't think they are ready for how many people are going to smash this into the deck. 
I just don't think. You can have K-Refresh, and it does look like K-Refresh will fully cover you as well. But we'll have to see. We will have to see. KOL. KOL is Key Opinion Leader. Someone who's a KOL, people are influencers. YouTube influencers. I'd be giving it a miss. £200 for a single battery. Yeah, it's about 100 and... The, the UK price on batteries wasn't that bad. Um, What was it? It's £139 in the UK. It doesn't directly attribute, but it's 259 for two. Uh, Looking at it. um, It was... Uh, key opinion leader. So you are an influencer. I'm not an influencer. Therefore, I wasn't fully involved. Half the fun is building your own and customizing your drone. Not for me. The FPV units home build safely. Yeah. No, I'm going to go on to the other one in a minute, Mark. I'm, I might not stay all night. I've had a long, long day, but I'm going to hop over in a minute. I just thought I'd do this one before I hop on to Gary's. Right, guys, I'm going to end this stream here. If you're watching and you're interested in hearing more, hop over to the SUAS News Podcast at the top of the hour. I will be on there with Mark, Gary, maybe Bruce. I don't know if Bruce is turning up. If Bruce is turning up, I'll have nothing to add, really. I'll give my thoughts, but... Bruce is the guy, get it. He's the expert. He's got the product. I can't really talk about it. Um, so um, I thought I'd do this one as a quick live one. Once I've taken this one offline, I'm going to quickly edit it and put it up on the channel properly. Let's get a link for Let's get a link for SUAS News, shall we? Um, let's get a link for that. SUAS News. Let's get it over. Mark, are you, if you're quicker than me, can you put it in? 2nd of March... Uh, let me click on that. It's this one here, guys. I'll share the link now. Uh, copy. But it is this one here. SUAS Drone and Sundry SUAS News. Let me just come over to here a minute. I'll put the link in here. There we go, guys. There is the link. You are looking for this one. We go on this once a week. Top of the hour. 16 minutes to go. We'll be there. I'll be there as well. I will see you guys. Let me get the full one up. I will see you guys over there very shortly. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. I wish I had more time tonight, but we'll do a proper live stream at the end of the week when I get the product in my hand as well, and we'll do that. Stay safe, guys. I'll speak to you soon.